welcome you to another edition of Agribusiness Now. And we are in the Rose Hall Mountain, John Louis Mountain to be exact. And with me is Quizai Samuel, a young farmer with his team. And Quizai is a um, farmer, he plants mostly root crops. Um, Quizai, let me welcome you to Agribusiness Now. Yeah, good morning. This is the Ginger family you're dealing with. Young Energetic Squad. We just do a lot of farming from Green Hill. Come real far, put real inches into the crop. We never give up. Try real hard. What are some of the crops that you plant? Well, we just plant a lot of ginger, edos, put the yam, and I'm now learning to the, the white yam and them. I understand that you have a young team with you. Um, tell me how many guys working and what's the age range like? Well, majority of me farm and them uh, work man and them like and uh, like 18, 19, me myself like 27, 28. So what inspired you to get into farming? Well, my old, my old, old man non job left all the land with me. So I have to just carry on the generation and do what I could do best. So, um, you know, there's a stigma that farming is a dirty job and most young people don't want to get involved. What is your opinion on that and what would you like to say to those out there? Nah, man. I find it a very good thing, man. As long as you're farming, you can't hungry. Look how hard this nation get. So I tell you so. Just, just farm where you love to eat and we're selling the most. <laughs> so tell me, um, how long have you been farming on the land? Though? Well, I did down here since my youth. I grew into it. My little brother grew into it. My sister grew into it. Everybody. And now I got some young boys with me coming right into it. They're loving it more than me. So I have to just keep them under my arms and keep out of trouble and not look for the glory. Yeah, we not look for no trouble. Well, to my understanding, you've been away from your community for at least three weeks now. Um, <laughs> many people will think that you're missing, but now we know where you are. Explain what is, what is a, day, a day for you like um, on your farm? It's real hard. I live for you because I got, like, I get animals, I get cackle, plus I just have to do left and right. I don't know. Sometimes I send my brother for do something, see we some ginger, I might get some for go rip, and I still might get edos for dig, and still I'm half to clean. And the end of the week, still we have to get them in the road. So sometimes when I get the money for pay a work man, it does be very difficult for me. But sometimes I just have to sacrifice and sacrifice a while. If I come with dig five and I get you with two, I have to satisfy with two. I can't kill myself and mind myself. And you guys spend a lot of time in the mountain and you actually sleep in the, the as we call it, the shanty that is here. Um, tell us about that. Well, it does do sometimes. Some of my friends must come down here where we just sleep sometimes too. We didn't say the we shanty real small, but we just make ourselves comfortable. And every we self and love ourselves, so sometimes we make a hunt, take ourselves out of trouble, same way. Yeah. Tell me, where do you see yourself probably in the next five to ten years, um, you know, starting as a young farmer? Where do you see yourself in the future? Where farming is concerned? Long to see we get better price for the food, I, I guarantee. I will see myself real good in the next 10 years in farming. Because farming, you can't lose. Long to hear you save your money and put it into use, you can't lose. And I don't tell me little brother so. Put pop your money when you get little money, put it up. Yeah. Now, there are some difficulties in farming as everyone will pray their last year, which is the stealing of crops, animals, both of which you have harmed. Um, have you experienced any of that and what are some of the other difficulties you have with your farm? Well, the most difficult to experience is hunter man. And say hunter man come to the land, them destroy, them I pass through with them dog, they run me animal, run me small kitty, them kill them. Lamb them the same. If them pull a two sack of arm, um, a two hole of ginger, a uh, two hole of edo, I don't really study that because I know you go see a edo, you make a, edo, a hole of edo to eat, a hole of that shit. I don't make them think they really bother me. But if you want to get the animal, the, the dog, they run the animal and kill them, I just really get hung bug. Because I just put really interest in me animal, them. I just come from too far, quite green hill are coming from, and put really interest in them. So I just want to see something from them, see me. You know, of course, there's the issue of climate change, the way that you used to plant before. Um, there are different methods of farming now. Um, I'm not too sure if you're aware of these uh, methods, of, but are you willing to advance yourself in farming and apply to the, the regulations when it comes to climate change? Because as you see, climate change has given us, given us some serious licks, especially when it comes to the rain and everything else. It's true. Because me and for you, last year, I got really licks from the weather. I could tell you because, look, all here, 
water just lick up them land rush down in the, in the place the same man find out how rose all the junction agriculture I've been come and call them and tell them if I could have get back some money and things for chewing the crap on them because I have been had the money for one bite yeah I mean had the money and plus I just sacrifice and see what I could have do still do you use furrows when you're planting um, your crop or you just dig the flat, the flat land? I use furrow, bar, um, plow. And them people down here don't really plow like how we green and people just plow the land. Them no more range back. Them go plant the gym and them in back hole. They go hold them go plant carrots land and things. But we know we go plow the land and, and plant. Same in gym that we go plant, plow the land and chop it back or shape back. Them is one of how we making them thing there, doing them style there. Cup, cup out back the land or shape back down. Yeah. Is that being beneficial to you? Yeah, that'd it, be very beneficial. It'd work. Yeah, not a joke. Before we wrap things up, anything else you like to add on before we end this segment? Well, <clears throat> little, you know, you have a young brother here, Antonio. You have know, a young worker here, Rico. We're going into farming real strong this year. We want to plant more ginger than what we plant here. See. We plant, want to plant more edos too. So still, I'm going into um, the same pine and things for plant and things. So we just going to do what we could do best, my boy. And push on through. And see we out there for me. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. All right, we're still in the Rose Hall Mountain, this time over on the Manawa section. And with me is another farmer. Let him introduce himself. Your name is? My name is Augustus Wilshire. I'm from Redemption Shops. A redemption shops man farming all the way on the leeward side of the island. Now tell me, how long have you been doing farming? Well, about 24 years now or so, because I leave trade work, come into farming because working on my own I feel better. Okay. And what is the type of crop that you plant? I plant edos, ginger and potato yam, a little potato, a little edo, a little, a little everything, you know what I mean? Carrots, a little... Well, when we came here today, I see that you were actually plowing the ground. Um, what are you planning to plant this time? I'm planting edos here now. What did you harvest in the last time? I plant rib ginger here this, from this. Now tell me, what are some of the difficulties that you inquire while farming over the past 24 years? Well, market. Market is one of the main problem because we sell the traffic and we get a little problem the road. Two main things I, I look at as, as my problem in getting. Otherwise, it's a walk, man. That's the only problem I'm getting with. So, so you don't experience, I'm um, pretty last the theft of your crop on, on animals or something? Not that great amount. A little bit. As a fella has some sheep here recently right now, but not no great teeth in. No great teeth in. No great teeth in. All right. And what are some of the benefits that you've gained from farming, apart from being independent, working for yourself? Well, I, I own the same piece of land here from farming. I own all the piece of property home that I live with. So I find it's doing me well, so I, I into it. Now you live all the way in Redemption Shops. What is a day like for you um, to and from your farm? Well, rough, rough. To get from town to Rosal, it takes money. Okay. I leave home at 3 o'clock, reaching here for Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. So I reach in here Tuesday afternoon at 7, 8 o'clock. From the now and my work from uh, Wednesday morning. Okay. okay. Anything else you like to say before we wrap up this interview? Well, I will like I will like to see we do something much more about the TV because it's a fella, a old fella right behind it complaining about animals the same thing. TV for the youths, come and work. We pay fifty dollars a day, fifty dollars times twelve o'clock, one o'clock you go on home. So that's. That's better than going somewhere to teach somebody thing or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you very much.